Okay guys, uh, this is going to be uh, professional fur handling, it's going to be uh, the red fox we're going to do this time. Uh, red fox is real similar to grays, uh, you know, so if you're doing grays, basically the same steps. So uh, anyway, we've got a, got a real nice uh, female red fox here, we're going to do a, a three part series, I'm going to do part one's going to be the skinning. Part two is going to be fleshing, and then part three is going to be the boarding. And uh, we're going to show you boarding them, uh, you know, fur in and then the flipping process. So uh, anyway, we get started here with our tools. Uh, I cut the feet off my fox whenever I skin them, the front feet. So we're going to have a, a big knife here, kind of a utility style knife. Uh, we're going to have a regular skinning knife, our first cut knife, a uh, tail stripper, a uh, tail zip, good fur brush. And then, of course, uh, you want gloves. So, uh, anyway, here's our fox. Real nice fox. This is a nice late caught fox. It hasn't rubbed real prime. So, uh, anyway, we'll get, we'll get started with the skinning process now. Okay, so we got our uh, fox hung up here, and uh, we're going to go real slow for you guys. Make sure you make sure and catch all the cuts and everything. Uh, uh, fox and coyote are, are basically the same the way they skin out, uh, you know, they're both both canines. So we're going to start off here, we're going to take our fur brush, we're going to give them a good brushing down, kind of back, back brush them a little bit. Uh, on canines especially, right here on the back of the head, that is one place where they'll pick up a lot of cocker burrs, uh, just because that's, that's one place that they can't hardly get to, to, to groom themselves. So we want to make sure we check all that out. Foxes are thin skinned enough, uh, you know. We want to be careful, make sure we get everything for the fleshing process. Okay, now we're going to start off here. Uh, foxes have, uh, have very sharp claws. So we're going to start off and we're going to take our knife. We're going to go right behind the pad here. We're going to make a cut all the way around the skin with our knife. What we're going to do is we're just going to take that foot. We're going to take that foot and we're going to cut it right off. This way, whenever we skin our fox, we don't have to deal with the, the sharp claws. So, right at, right at that joint is where I'm cutting, right there. And we're just going to go right around with our knife. Then good little twist and snap. It breaks that joint, and then you can just cut the, cut the foot right off. Okay, now for our initial cut here. We're... Uh, on a fox, same as a coyote, there's going to be a color change in their, in their fur here. This color change is where you want to follow. So uh, we're going to start off here. We're going to go right, right about the heel area. And you can see, see the color change right there. We're going to start in with our knife. And we're just going to follow that color change right up towards the vent area. Okay, we're going to go ahead, and after we do that, we're just going to kind of peel this away. Foxes are not hard to skin. They have very, uh, very thin skin. We're just going to get that started there, and then we're going to just ring the foot right about the heel and get that, get that fur cut free. We'll make sure we don't want to cut through the uh, the Achilles tendon there. I'll, I'm going to hang him up by that. So anyway, we got that started. We're just going to strip it down real easy. You can see I'm just working, working that down. Okay, next we're going to come to the vent. We're going to hold our fox like so. We're going to come right to the back of the vent here. We're going to come just right in behind the vent and we're going to go straight up and then on the other side of the vent we're going to make a cut and we're just just going to cut the vent out you can see right there just just cut that free okay next we're going to hang him by the 
Other foot here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna go into the heel and we're just gonna follow, follow that color change right up towards the vent. Just kind of peeling back the fur as we go. Come right back up to the heel. And we're just gonna go ahead and, and ring that heel again. Okay. Now then, start working our fur back to the vent. Okay. Now this is where we made our, our cuts forward. We're just gonna free that up. You can see right here. And now we have the whole tail free. Okay, next we're gonna put them on our gimbal and get them hung up a little bit. Better? Okay. Now this is the same machine that I do my coons and everything else on, but fox are th so thin skinned, we're not gonna pull them. So we're gonna just kinda work underneath the, uh, the tail there and just kinda free that up. It's, uh, it's real easy, like I said, fox, they have very thin skin. We're just gonna kinda get a, a, a start there with our knife. Just kind of ring the tail a little bit. We're gonna take our tail stripper. We're just gonna push and pull all at the same time. Foxes have real long tails, but uh, you can see it comes right out. Take our tail stripper. We're just gonna get that in there. You gotta kind of work at it a little bit uh, with these long-haired critters. They don't they don't pull. You want to be careful with the uh, with the tail so you don't pop it. Just kind of work it down real slow. And we'll strip that tail right out. This fox here appears to sustained an injury. Okay, now that we've got him pulled, now we're just gonna just simply pull the fox down. You can see he pulls very, very easy. Okay, we've got him down to the arms. This is why you've uh, cut your, your arms off because you can simply pull the arms right through. Okay, now then, a little bit more of a tug, and we're gonna come right down, we'll work down to the face. Just keep working it down. Okay, we're down to the head now. We're gonna leave long ears. Uh, I'll take the cartilage out of the ears during the fleshing process. I'll show that in part two. Coming down to the head now. We've got everything freed up. Try to raise them up for the camera here. We're just gonna work around to the eyes. We're gonna leave small eye holes here.
keep tugging just a little bit as we work down. You can see I'm just following the contour of the eye, coming to the jaw. Just a little tug here and there. You can get your hands right inside the, uh, the jaw area. Just keep working down. Get down here towards the bottom lip. The bottom lip has no value. So once you work it down so far, we can just take and just cut that right off. And then we'll just keep working down to the base of the nose. Just keep working. Try to get all that as far as we can. There you have it. Got it skinned all the way down. Okay, now I wash all my canines. I wash all my fur as a matter of fact. So uh, we're going to put this in the washing machine on a gentle cycle. Get them washed. And then, uh, as you can see, foxes have very little fat on them. So we're just going to take them and just kind of scrape them up just a little bit. Uh, if at all possible, we want to leave the saddle on them. So we'll... Uh, Get that taken care of and then the flushing will be part two. Okay guys.